Okay, so I'm not going to use people's names because I don't have permission from them to use them. And... And I don't want to get in trouble. So, this was fifth grade, y'all. So, this little mean girl, Katie, let's just call her that, even though her name was something else. Let's just call her Katie. Doesn't like me. I don't know why. I don't, I've never done anything to this girl. And she doesn't like me. I don't know why. So, she tried to, so she doesn't like me. She tried to turn, she turned my best friend, Stephanie, let's just call her that, um, against me. And so Stephanie and all the other kids in fifth grade did not like me. The teachers didn't even like me. I don't know why I haven't done anything to them. So, um, Christmas break rolls around and I'm at my dad's house. So, I had asked for a stereo and some CDs. Come, I come back to school and a few days after, this little girl steals two of my CDs. Not one, but two. So, um, it was like a few weeks after she stole my CDs. Um, well, um, my friend Claire, not. Okay, um, Claire, her no, her locker was right next to Katie's, and, um, Claire had the combination to Katie's locker, because it was, because Katie was using Claire's lock, and so we go in Katie's locker, and we find nothing, nothing. We couldn't find the CDs. And so here comes Katie all high and mighty with a teacher. The teacher didn't like me. She liked Claire, but she didn't like me. So she asked, what are you girls doing in Katie's locker? That's her locker. Um, and we asked, no wait, we didn't ask. Um, Katie said, Katie said, she's probably trying to find her CDs that I stole. And I was just like pissed. I was really pissed. She flat out admitted that she stole my CDs and so um, um, I'm not making this up I promise uh, the teacher goes in her room and we us three girls follow her well Katie just wanted to see me and Claire get in trouble and so the teacher writes us a referral the ne for the next day because it was the end of the school day already. And so the next day we go to the office and we explain what Katie did. We explain to her, I mean, uh, well, him. We explained to him that she flat out admitted that she stole my CDs. And the teacher 
I mean, uh, the prin the principal um, said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Well, I didn't say that out loud. I was just thinking it. Are you fucking kidding me? She has my property. And so, that really pissed me off right there. They couldn't do anything about it. So, we don't get any sort of punishment. He didn't make us do anything. We just had to explain um, that we were looking, we were in her locker just looking for my CDs. And she didn't get them back, give them back to me. And I, like a few months later, I go to my, um, my, um, grandmother's house, and I, she has this little prize closet where we're, whenever we're good, we get a prize from there, and so I got this pink purse, um, and I had it maybe for like a week and during like a science class or something like that I was at my table and I had my backpack open with the purse in it and I had to go like do something else somewhere else still in the room um, So I go talk to somebody somewhere else in the room and I come back. My purse is gone out of my backpack and so I'm just like freaking out. I'm freaking out and this, I was like, who stole my purse? Who stole my purse? And she's like, um... Darn, I can't remember. Um, I cannot remember. This little brat. Come to find out the next year that she stole it. Actually had it the whole time. For the rest of the year. I mean, like, it was almost the end of school. And, yeah. Um, turns out she had it, and so the next year, I stole her purse, and I got ISS for that, because, hey, I was trying to get back at her. It doesn't hurt, I mean, it doesn't feel so good, does it? So, yeah, that's the story. Oh, and by the way, we moved to, like, a different school, like, right after this happened. And she never got her purse back, neither did I. I never got my purse back, either. So, yeah, I'll see you later.